Roman, thank you for coming in Florence, in Basel. Uh, this year, Basel is uh, the, they have the, um, uh, the birthday for uh, 20 years, is born uh, 20 years ago. And uh, very happy Basel for uh, have the new, new project uh, for uh, this special occasion. And uh, possible that you describe the new project and the title and why you decided this uh, uh, special project for uh, Florence? Um, the, the space itself inspired me to work uh, site specifically and to make uh, um, several objects from the sort of inventory of, of the space to be reconfigured or reversed that the space will have completely new um, visual quality but ju just adding a little element in it. And this is the mirror, which also uh, describes the title, Objects in the Mirror. But in fact, um, the, the objects will be people. So I'm saying about objects, but everybody who will look into the mirror from outside will be reflected, including the, the street view. and. Um, um, so it's not only about objects in the mirror, but it's also about how we perceive art in galleries or how we perceive reality as such. Because um, the title is a shortened passage from the sentence, from the phrase, uh, objects in the mirror are closer than they appear, um, which is inscribed on a uh, wind uh, mirrors in several countries uh, on the cars wind uh, mirrors which says that uh, it's it's a, it's a kind of a warning that it should be you should be aware that the cars which are passing by you uh, are reflected in the mirror are closer than they look like uh, it's very important with uh, um, I think the your project uh, in the space in Mase because they have the two different uh, vision of the work. That when the, uh, the people stay outside, they have the one image. But when they stay inside, they understand it's very important uh, they have the experience of the work. No? And I think for you, for the EU process, is the, uh, you create normally the fighting from image and experience, space and uh, uh, in, uh, and uh, obser observer the the, um, the the object, no. And uh, I think, uh, example, the work of uh, famous uh, work of the line. Uh, the people uh, stay in, uh, in attending the happening, you know, the 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 event. Well, and my question is uh, uh, in uh, this work. It uh, exists a special relationship with uh, the other your work created in the past or not? What oh, do you think? Yeah, definitely yes. As you said, um, the Q performance is acted by people which are either uh, actors or co collaborators, so it's a kind of a clandestine event in which you don't understand whether it is real or it's fictional but once you step in the line as a, as a viewer you become part of the work sometimes without knowing that you are part of the work mm -hmm. so in this way inclusion of people here is almost the same because you can see the show from only from outside so you can see the bookshelves and the books which are now which will be in the shop window almost like uh, if this would be a bookshop so they will create a wall which blocks the gallery the view inside of the gallery but you can see them from the street and at the same time you can also see the constellation of objects of the mirror shutter and the house number which are moved away from the facade but this mirror kicks you back in a way of this reflection that you will mm -hmm. see yourself and the text which will be on the uh, door glass pane and then you will see the background which 
is far away. So either you will see this from outside or when you come inside you are trapped even more because you will be inside of this um, confusion. So that was the, the idea of, of this project for Basel. Beautiful. And uh, remember, when uh, you come in Florence, you have uh, the other suggestion for a uh, very important work that you have uh, the, the showing in uh, your gallery in uh, Paris, no? JB Agency. Yes. And uh, also uh, uh, speaking about this work of the line of the, the river. Of, of the flooded gallery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was inspired by very sad uh, events from the past, which repeatedly appeared here in, in Florence and also in a way how how art was attacked by by floods in Florence mm -hmm. uh, inspired me to, to 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 make some kind of fiction about possible disaster or the disaster from yesterday mm -hmm. because the idea was to make it looking like that the flood just happened the day before you come to the show and that was the idea to have the marble plaques with this um, line saying that the water raised to the level of a certain level and flooded the gallery yesterday so the idea was that every day anybody would come to the to the gallery here uh, may be confused about whether the day before the gallery was flooded but not the rest of Florence so somehow that was the fiction about how the water arrived in the gallery without affecting the rest of Florence. <laughs> but um, as we said, it was planned for, for base, but then I made it in Paris. So we have another project mm -hmm. made specifically for, for Basel. So, uh, okay, but the idea arose from, from here, from my visit to Florence and... Uh, yeah. and uh, I thinking think it, about this. Yeah, I think it's very important for you the, the very different connection. No? The, the, the last question, what is it for you the role of the artist today in a post-ideological uh, world? Uh, maybe it's time to come back to the idea of craftsmen as it was in the Gothic times or <laughs> because you know, we are all doing art but closer or lower we will think of our positions, better we will use the idea of freedom of being an artist without being called artist with big A. That's my idea, that maybe we should just merge with everybody else and uh, just do what we like. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Rafa. Thank you.